Hey everyone, so today we're going to be making a mini album using Graphic 45's Farmhouse collection. This is actually going to be a recipe book, but you can use it for photos as well. So I'm going to be using black um, 110 pound cardstock and then the collection kit. So for this, I'm only using the collection pack. I didn't buy any extras. This is gonna be perfect and enough for what we need to do. So you don't have to buy more than the collection pack for this. And it's just so cute. So um, the main colors are black and kind of this burnt orange and pale, um, I don't know what kind of yellow that is, like a sunflower-ish kind of yellow, but very fall kind of colors. And the papers are just perfect for a recipe book and perfect for kind of a shabby sheet country farm album whatever you like so and I'm also going to add some matching um, cardstock just to accent the different papers so let's get to it okay so this is a gatefold album so you're going to start by making the cover and the cover is going to need three pieces you'll need a piece for the back and then two pieces one for each of the gatefold sides so let's start out by cutting the back so your back piece is going to measure eight and a half by seven so these is all this is already eight and a half by eleven paper so i already know i've got my eight and a half this way so i'll just measure out at seven. Okay, so that's the back of your album. So we'll just set that aside. And then you're going to need two pieces of eight and a half by six. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to cut these together. Let's see if this works. Sometimes I just need to go through twice. Hooray, it worked. Okay, perfect. And now you're going to score these two pieces that you've just cut for the, the sides. Okay, you're going to score these at half and two and a half. So let's just get out a little score. So score these at half and then at two and a half. And that's because you are going to be having um, a two inch spine on each side, okay? Half and two and a half. Okay, and let's just fold those over. Now, I always do my cover in 110 pounds, but um, if you want to do the inside in something lighter, like an 80 pound, you can. But um, I'm gonna do the entire thing in 110 pounds in this case, because I'm using it as a recipe album. I'm, I'm thinking it might get um, some extra wear than just one of my regular albums would get. So I'm gonna use this throughout the entire album. Down. and now let's show you how to attach these okay so I've got my two sides and my back and so the way I'm going to attach these is I'm going to put my score tape on the inside and this back piece tucked inside there okay don't do it the other way because then your spine will get too much wear so and we're not covering all of this up we're just covering we're going to decorate it, but you want this piece tucked in nicely so that uh, doesn't get too much wear and tear. So let's just go ahead and score, put some score tape. So I'm using half inch score tape here. And one tip, just when you're going to attach um, your paper, you can just fold down one corner so that you don't have to be fully committed as you spend time just lining up your piece of paper that you're sticking on. And then don't go right to on top of the score line, just go right next to it. Otherwise your fold will not, uh, your, your book will not, will not open and close nicely because you'll be on the fold. You wanna be sort of right next to the fold. Okay, so I've lined that up. Perfect, so there's one side. 
And then we can go ahead and do the other side. Uh, here's another tip of mine. If you like, I like to just sort of wear my score tape as a bracelet. I know there's new dispensers and things. Um, and if you're into that, sure, go ahead and try them. Oops. We don't have to worry about that. We'll fix that later. Um, you can go ahead and try them. But I find that my wrist works really well and it's free. <laughs> okay, so see now I just wasn't paying attention. I tore the entire piece off and I didn't do the lining up, but that's okay. We'll just carefully line up here. And just, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so that is the back and the two sides. So you've got your cover done. Okay, so we'll just set that aside. And so what is going on the inside now is a waterfall on this side. So I'm going to prepare this waterfall. So what you're going to do for the waterfall that goes on this side is cut um, nine squares. So nine squares that are four and three quarters by three and one quarter. Okay, so let's just do one for now. We're going to do nine of these. So I'm going to cut four and three quarters by three and a quarter. Okay, so I'm just doing one, but you're going to do nine. So there's one. And then you're going to score this along the short side at half an inch. Okay, so let's just score that here. Okay. And then add your score tape along the top. Like so. Okay. And so let's go ahead and make nine of those. And you can probably pause the video here. And when I come back, I'll have nine of these ready, cut and scored and ready to stick into the album. So let me show you how I'm going to attach these over here. So these are going to be attached um, from the top like this. And the way that I do it, you can either do it like this, it's sort of personal preference. So you can attach them this way so that you have the seam up here, or you can attach it so that they actually, the seam is underneath. Okay, so I'm going to do them with the seam underneath. So make sure that after you score them, you really press that down so that you get a nice, easy fold on it. So the way I do this is I just peel up the corner and lining up is really, really important. And I find it um, when you're doing it on black, it gets a bit more challenging, but that's why it's a good idea to use this sort of technique where you just take out the one little bit. So I just line it up here across the top and then just pull that out. There we go. Okay, so there's our first one. Okay, and now we'll sort of attach the second one in the same way. So here, we just line it up, we butt it up against the one above, and then before I commit, I make sure I'm straight down the side and I fold the other card on top just to make sure it looks okay. If I need to nudge it over a little, I do, like I just did, and that is supposed to come off nicely but it didn't, so there you go. That thing is perfect. So I need to just make a bit of an adjustment there. Now I can stick that down. Okay, and so we can continue sort of attaching these in the same way. that up here. I want to make sure it's straight down this side. So find this very challenging with black, I tell you. Okay, so this needs to come over a little bit here. Perfect. Okay. Oops, wrong side. Once again, and 
I know this is repetitive, but it's just sort of good to watch the process of lining them up because when I first started doing these, my waterfalls were just never lining up. But with this method and just being able to nudge things a little if I need to, because I haven't really committed, then I usually get a good lineup. Looks good. Got second last one. And last one. Okay, now that we've got these stuck down, I'm going to cut um, the closure flap. So I want these to stay down nicely. So I'm gonna make a flap to close this and that's gonna measure six and a half inches long by two inches wide. So let's just go ahead and cut that. Get this stuff out of the way. Oh, I missed one. I said nine. Okay. One more. Oops. It's hiding on me. All right. Okay, now we can set that aside and we're gonna cut the closure flap. So that's gonna measure two inches. by six and a half. So, and then you can go ahead and score this at half inch and attach it to the bottom. So we're scoring it along the short side. There we go. And we can just get our score tape on there. Okay, and then just, um, I just eyeball it. You can measure if you want um, to center this, but more or less, I like to eyeball it because I don't want to spend my entire time measuring things while I'm scrapbooking. Okay, so that's going to finish this piece. All right, so now we're going to make a fold-out flap for the right-hand side. So this piece is quite simple. If you're using 8.5 by 11 um, cardstock for your album, then you don't have to do any cutting because you need to, you need a piece that measures 8.5 by 11 and you're going to score this in three places along um, this way so you're going to score at half half an inch okay then you're going to score at one there and then you're going to score again at six and a half okay so let's just Fold those over and then I'll show you where we attach this in the album. And then this is going to fold inwards. So okay, so if we take our album, we are going to be attaching this piece to the back cover. Okay, so you're going to go to attach this to the left of your score mark and, and it's going to be attached directly to the back cover. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm just folding that under and I'm gonna make sure that I'm not on the score line. I'm just ever so slightly to this side of it. And I need this over here. There we go. Okay, so that looks lined up, that looks good. That looks nice and straight, so I can pull that out. Okay, and so that's this piece. Okay, we are now gonna make the pocket flap that goes this way. So for this piece, I already had a piece magically cut, so I'm just gonna use this one. You're gonna to have to measure um, 10 and a half by six, and then you're gonna score it at half and then at five and a half. Okay, so go ahead and cut that at 10 and a half by six, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and start scoring. So I'm scoring here at half, and I'm scoring at five and a half. Okay, so the way I'm going to make my pocket is I'm just going to fold it over in the middle. Okay, and then I'm just going to, this is how I'm attaching it to the spine, to the inside of the album. So we'll, we'll finish off the pocket in a second. Um, first, we'll go ahead and attach it to the album. So the way we're going to attach this now is to the second scored section of this flap. So let me see if I can show you this closely on the black if you can see it. So I have, I remember we cut this piece, we scored it half and we attached this to the back. And then we have another half inch where that's sort of the spine of this. So it gives us some dimension there. That's where I'm going to attach this. So I'm going to put my score tape along here and I am attaching it to this piece here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I am going to line this up. I want it at the bottom. So I'm just lining up to the bottom here. And there we go. That's great. And there's my inside pocket. It's going to just attach here, okay? Um, now, I want you to notice something. When I fold it in, inwards, because I scored the paper at five and a half, it looks like it's just a little bit too long. So here's an easy way to fix that, is fold it the other way, okay? So just fold it outwards. So you're not folding into the same you're not folding both scores um, into each other like that, okay? You've got one folded in one way and this one folded the other way. So that will help you be able to um, close the pocket properly, okay? And so we'll finish this up by just putting some score tape down one side and along the bottom. So you can use score tape or glue. I'm actually going to um, switch over to my glue for the pocket. And I'm using art glitter glue. I just put it in this little bottle because I find it easier to use. But I like this bottle because it has a very fine tip. Of course, you can buy the fine tip for the art glitter glue as well. Um, but I like to just buy the big bottle of glue and that's the best deal. And then I can just refill my little bottle here um, whenever I need some. Okay, so we only need that on two sides. There we go. So that has plenty of time to dry. Perfect. 
All right, so let's work on now the fold out for this side, which is actually going to be an accordion pocket. Okay, so for the accordion, you're gonna cut three pieces, the bottom of the, of the pocket, the top of the pocket, and then the accordion sides. So let's start out by cutting the bottom of the pocket. So you're going to need a seven by three and a quarter. Oh, sorry, se seven by six and three quarters. So that's seven by six and three quarters. There's my seven by six and three quarters. So that will be the bottom of my pocket. And then for the top of the pocket or the closure flap, you will measure five by six and three quarters. Five by six and three quarters. All right, so now take the top of your pocket and score along this long side at half an inch. Like that. Okay, and then to the bottom of your pocket, because I want this to stick out, I'm gonna score it at half and at one. Half and at one. Okay. And I actually need to attach this to something. So I need a back for it. So for the back of the accordion pocket, you will cut eight and a half by eight and three quarters. So that's already that's my eight and a half. three quarters okay and this is going to get attached to the album so this I'm going to score at half and at two Okay, so let's just sort of take stock of what we have so far. So we have the back flap, back of the accordion pocket that's going to be attached to the album. So the, that's the base rather. Then we have the bottom of the pocket and the top of the pocket. And now we need the two little sides that will attach as the accordion. So let's just cut set these aside and cut those. So for the accordion pieces, you're going to need two of these and you're going to measure them at five and a half by two inches. Okay. So there's one. It's five and a half by two. Okay, and for these accordion pieces, you're going to score them in three places. So you're going to score them at half, and then at one, and then at one and a half. Okay, so and make sure you get a good score on these half, one, and one and a half. Okay, and now, first thing we're going to do is actually construct, um, at, sorry, we're going to attach the back or the base to the album first, and then we will build on the accordion file onto that. Okay, so here we are with all the pieces. So remember I said first you need to add the base, which is the flap that we will attach the accordion file to, okay? So that's this, that's this piece here. So you're going to attach this now. So we're gonna attach it here on the half inch 
piece where, that we scored and we're going to attach it to the back of the album. So to the base back, okay? And the reason I scored it then again at two and a half was so that um, we would have lots of space here for this to attach itself. Okay, so for the base of the accordion file, you're going to have to cut eight and a half by eight and three quarters. So this is already eight and a half. So I'll just cut off my eight and three quarters. And this is going to um, be attached to the base of the back. And I want it to have enough space to fold over the waterfall that's going to go in here and these pieces that will fold this way. So I'm going to score this at half. And then again at um, one and a half, and that'll give us an inch clearance over this side. Okay, so let's go ahead and score that, and then we'll attach it before um, as we go to build on the waterfall. So you're going to score it here along the eight and a half inch side. Okay, make sure you score it in the right spot. Don't score it along the longer side. So it's going to attach vertically. So we're going to score this at half. And then again at one and a half. Okay, so this is going to give us plenty of room for the accordion pocket and to fold over the other side. All right, so before we do anything else, and before we start attaching the pocket, let's just attach this so I can show you where it goes. So once again, we are going to, same as we did with this pocket, we are going to attach this to the base back of the album. So I'm going to put my score tape along this little half inch fold, and then it's going to get attached right here, just slightly to the right of the score line. And so it's not attached to the spine, okay? It's not attached to the spine, it's attached to the base. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach that. And then once this is attached, we can start to attach the um, pieces for the accordion file. The pocket, rather. Okay, so I'm attaching this to the back base. Okay, just line it up here. Oops, looks like I went a little too low. I'm just peel that back. Okay, line it up. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we'll just gently peel that down. There we go, great. Okay, perfect, love that. So now I always just check everything's looking good. I'm putting a waterfall in here. These will sit on top like so. Okay. That goes on top like this. And we'll be able to close this flap in. And the top of our album will sit there. Okay. So now on this side, we can start to attach our accordion. So what I want to do first is actually build up the sides. I'm going to attach these two to the front pocket and then we'll attach the whole thing to this base, okay? So what you're gonna do is just fold these like a fan along the score marks. Okay. That, and then you're just gonna simply attach these here to the back of the pocket. Okay, to the back of this front pocket. Okay, so I'm just checking everything looks okay. Okay, so I'm just going to put 
so I need to put score tape along this section and this section because then this will stick, um, one side sticks to the base and one side sticks to the front pocket. So let's put our score tape along those pieces. There we go. Okay, so you can see now how I'm going to attach this to the base. Okay, we can do the other side. Okay, so same thing. Okay. We're going to put our score tape on the two sections on the outermost edges one So perfect. So now I'm ready to attach this to the pocket, the fold out that I made. So I'm going to attach it down here at the bottom. So I'm going to put score tape along this bottom half inch that I scored off. Now this should fit um, edge to edge along this piece. So just line up along the bottom. There we go. Okay. So I'll put that on and now I can remove my score tape from the sides and stick down the pocket. There we go. And now just kind of be careful here because you're going to make sure that you get this so that the bottom here sits straight. Okay. So just you know, tuck it in and just sort of make sure that before you stick it down, your bottom is flat and straight up and down. There we go. Perfect. Okay. That side. Okay. So there is a beautiful little pocket with tons of space inside. Okay. And now we can go ahead and work on attaching the top. Okay, so now we can go ahead and attach the top here. Just line that up again in the corner. Line that up across the top. And there we go. There's the closure for our in, in our pocket. Okay. So here's where we're at so far. Lovely. Okay, so now we're going to work on this folding out section here. So this has, if you recall, we've got a small pocket at the bottom and then a flap that folds out. And I know the pieces that I want to use for this from my paper. So I'm going to make sure that I cut them um, for a size that will fit these pieces. So I'm going to be using, um, let's take a look here, I'm going to be using this piece 
the milk cream and butter for the bottom pocket and then my flap will be this life is better on the porch piece so i'm going to cut those out and that will help guide me how i'm going to um, make this bottom piece uh, sorry this side section here okay so we're gonna go ahead and make the pocket for the bottom here so this pocket is going to measure um three and a half by two and a quarter so let's just go ahead and cut that so it's three and a half wide oops by two and a quarter okay and remember I knew what I want to put on here. So I'm going to probably have to trim this down a little, but that's what's going to go there. So we can go ahead and just glue the pocket down to the bottom here. Oh. Oops, there we go. Lovely. So just glue down on three sides, of course. This is just um, a flat little pocket, so you're not going to get a lot in here. We're probably just going to put a tag or something in it. So it's not like, I do not call this a utility pocket, but this is more a decor pocket. Okay, and then we're going to have a flap that folds out here. And so for that flap, you're going to measure um, five inches long by four inches wide, and then we're going to score it half. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this at five. Oh, that's already five. And four. Great. And now we can score this. At half. There we go. Now I'm probably, I'm gonna go ahead and round the corners um, on this before I start decorating. But I was hoping, cause I'm, I'm waiting for the new deco punch um, from Crocodile to come in. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to use that. If I can't, I'm just gonna use my regular corner rounder. But I'm hoping that by the time I get to the decorating part, that will be available. Okay, as you can see, I didn't get up to the end, so I'm just gonna supplement with a little bit of glue. There we go, no problem. And I'm just going to attach that sort of, not. I don't want it covering the pocket, I want it just sort of above the pocket here. There we go. All right, perfect. So we have a little flap there. Okay, I thought we would just sort of take stock of where we're at so far with the album. So we made the outside cover. On the left, we put in a small pocket and a little flap. We added an accordion file. We have a waterfall on the left with nine pockets. We have a flap that opens up like so. We have a pocket here that we're going to put things inside. And now we're on to the center back. So what are we doing here? We are going to put in some waterfalls here. So these are going to be some horizontal um, center waterfalls. Um, these, you're also going to make nine of these flaps and they are going to measure six and a quarter by four and three quarters. So let's go ahead and cut and score one up just to show you and then um, We'll just pause and I'll do all nine and you go do all nine. And when we come back, we'll have them all cut and scored and ready to attach. Okay, so let's just start with our first one here. Okay, so we're going to cut this at six and a quarter. By four and three quarters. we go and you're going to score along this long side at half an inch there we go Let's that over. ok 
Okay, and then you're gonna go along and put your score tape right along that. Perfect, okay. So pause here. When you come back, I'm going to have nine of these all set up like this and we'll attach them to the book. So now we're going to go ahead and attach the waterfall. So I've cut nine pieces and scored and taped them all. So we can start at the top and I'll just do a couple. And you're going to attach this flush at the top and in the center. Um, so just line that up and I'm just kind of eyeballing the same distance from each of these score lines. So that looks good. That's my first one. Okay. Now I'll just continue along. So I'm just going to check that everything looks lined up. So just continue along until you have all nine of these um, stuck in. And when we get back, we'll make the closure flap and start working on another little fold out that comes from the left side. Okay, so now the flaps are installed. Sorry about this uh, shadow here, but it's a very sunny day, which is nice. And um, we're going to make the closure flap for this waterfall. So for this piece, you're going to measure seven by two and a quarter and then you're gonna score it at half. So I already have this cut, I'm um, just using one of my scraps. So I'm just gonna score that along this uh, short side at half, and we can go ahead and attach that. There we go. this here. Oops, in the middle. But there we go. And we will put all of our magnets on later. So now um, let's fold this back over. Let's close this up. Close that up. This goes up here. Now as you can see, this flap, because I have the waterfall here, it kind of stays up and this is sort of sinking down. So I'm going to add another fold out on this side and it's going to be a tri-fold that comes out of here. So for that, you're gonna simply take um, your eight and a half by 11 cardstock and you don't, um, you don't need to cut one side because it's going to measure eight and a half this way by seven. So let's go ahead and cut that down. So there's our eight and a half by seven. And now we're going to score this in a few places because I want this to stick out, stick up a little and have some space. So, oops, let's make sure we score it on the proper side. So I'm lining up my eight and a half inch side along the left here. So I'm gonna score this at half per usual. Okay. And then I don't want it to be too high. So I'm going to score it just a quarter of an inch over. So now I'm score I'm scoring it at three quarters. Okay, and then I'm going to have it fold into itself at four. So I'll score again at four. Okay. And we'll just fold along our score lines here. So this will give this left fold out some dimension so that it holds up 
when we go to close the book, it doesn't collapse on one side and also give you some extra space for journaling or your recipes, whatever you plan to use this album for. Okay, so that we're gonna stick here. And then now I need a closure flap. So before I put my scoreboard away, I'm gonna cut down my closure flap. Um, so the flap for this is going to be three and a half by three and a half. So luckily that's already three and a half. Okay, and this we're gonna score at half like we usually do. Okay, so, sorry, and I forgot to mention this one because I, it's closing over this flap that's raised a quarter of an inch. We're also going to score this again. So at half and at three quarters. Okay. There we go. Okay, so let's attach that all and see how that looks. Okay, so I'm putting my score tape. This time I'm putting my score tape on the inside of the fold because it's going to get attached to the cover like this. so I can see better. And we're gonna just line up the corner just next to the score line. Just carefully pull that out. Great, okay, so that's gonna fold over here. And now I'm going to attach this little card So this will be my closure flap over this. So that will sit out here, okay? So this is now, we're going to put the score tape on the outside. And I want this about in the center of this piece, roughly. That looks good. There we go. All right, so that's how this will work. So now I've got a bit more lift here on the other side of my gatefold and lots more space. All right, the next thing we're gonna work on is some panel, uh, panel that comes out of this front of the accordion file. So right here. Okay, so for this fold out feature, we're going to use an entire um, sheet of eight and a half by 11. And you're simply gonna score this at half and then at six and a half. And then again here, six and a half. And, okay, and so I'm just gonna cut all the pieces that we're gonna need for this. So then we're gonna have um, two pieces that are four and a quarter by six and three quarters. So let's see if I can use any of my scraps. Nope. So we're going to cut two pieces that are four and a quarter by six and three quarters. So there's my four and a quarter, my six and three quarters, my second one, it's already four and a quarter, my six and three quarters. And so these two 
are going to essentially um, fold open. So you're going to score them on this along the short side at half an inch. So let's score those. One and two. Okay, we'll just set those aside. And then I'm going to need some closure flaps that come from the top and the bottom. So those, you will cut two of those and those will measure two and a quarter by three and three quarters. So I'm going to go into my scraps here. So let's see, two and a quarter. by three and three quarters. So measure two of those. Okay. And then same, you're going to score these along the short side at half. Okay, so you can pause here. Okay, so we have all of our pieces that we need for this section um, cut and scored. So let's start attaching them. So this fold out piece, we're going to attach right to the top or the back side of the accordion file. So I always like to go back and forth a little just because then you get a nice um, sort of easy flapping back and forth fold and the papers stay nice and flat okay so I'm going to just pull out one corner so I can just line up here line up to the top might, it might help if you just sort of press this flat for a minute. Don't worry about the accordion file underneath. It will be fine. So I'm just going to hold that there. Make sure this is all lined up. Okay, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, so that's this flap. And next what I'm going to do... is I'm going to put down this flap is actually going to close over top like that okay and then this one will be over on this side here and then I'm going to have these two folding over this way so let's just do one at a time so first I'm going to attach this card to the top of the flap I just attached. So just right on the outside here. And I'm going to just line it up to the top edge there, like that, okay? Okay, so this is just lined up to the top edge. Like that, okay. So that's here. And now this one, I'm actually attaching it to the top of the back of the accordion file. So over here, all right they will close up over each other like that. Okay. So now this, let me just fold those open so we don't get confused. And we're attaching this down here to the bottom, starting at the bottom of the page. There we go. 
All right, so it looks like this. And now I need to attach these pieces, which will hold it all closed and together. And remember now, these will get attached and we'll have a string closing this up. So we'll do that closer to the end. So we can attach these like this. All right. So, oops. Oops, oops, oops. Okay, so let me just get my score tape on here and we'll show you where to position these. One. Two, I'm gonna take my jewelry off. Okay, so you are going to open up all the flaps and these are going to be stuck down to the base or the back of the accordion file in the center, one at the bottom and one at the top. And I want these lined up, so you can just grab a ruler, which I don't know what I did with mine. So just even just grab a scrap and just make sure that you line this up. So when you attach this, it's directly across from the one at the bottom. Okay, so just you can use that as a guide. All right, there we go. So there we go. So we've got both of these pieces, this part finished up as well. Okay, so let's do a quick walkthrough of what we've done with this album and we are soon going to be ready to start decorating. All right, so it is a gatefold. So we open up to the left, we have the waterfall. Sorry, to the right, your other left. Then we have a nice fold out with a little pocket. The back. Then we have this center piece. With lots of space. Right, we have our accordion pocket over here. And we have this left piece that folds open and a pocket and then an accordion, uh, sorry, waterfall in the center. So we are ready to start putting in our magnets now. Okay, so there's a lot of spots where we will have uh, magnets, but there's quite a few where we don't because we have different types of closures for this. So let's just start from the left and move forward. We don't, um, we don't need a magnet to close on the outside because we're going to use um, a nice little Prima marketing um, hook on the outside. So we'll start with the inside. So the first place um, I want a magnet is on this flap. So this is how I put in magnets. I put in my double-sided tape. I stick down the magnets stuck together so I know which way they need to be polarized, okay? Then I go with another piece of double-sided tape onto the other side. And then I just peel that off and I fold down if it's too long, okay? And then I just press it over where I want it to go. Okay, now just press that down And that's it, got your magnets installed. Okay, so that's how I do them. I use magnets, I get, I get a lot of questions, well, I get a few questions, I won't say a lot, on where I get my magnets from. I have two sizes, these are all from Amazon, so these ones are two millimeters. They're a little bit thicker, so it depends where you're using them. Um, if you don't mind to have that thickness, like here I don't mind the thickness, so I'm gonna use it there. They're very, very strong, so I love them for that. If you want something thinner, 
basic gray actually makes the best magnets, but they are just very hard to find. So I also found these also from Amazon. These are very thin. They're one, I think they're one millimeter. They're not as strong once you start layering papers on. So you want to use them in a place where you don't actually have too many layers or you want to use um, more than more than one set in a spot. OK, so I'm just going to open this up. So let's see, that's such a strong magnet that it's actually coming apart. Once you cover with paper, that issue will go away. OK, so then I'm going to open this up and I think I might like um, not here because I'm probably going to put in a card in this pocket that's going to hold this little flap down, but I think I might like one maybe little magnet over here. So I think I'll use these light ones and probably use two sets. Whoops. Wow. Okay. That's how strong the other magnets are. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and put our magnets down here. So I'm going to, I want this flap to stay closed like that. So I think I'll put one up here and one about there. So I'll just put my tape down first where I want to those magnets to go. Okay. And then just peel that back. Get your magnets stuck together. Okay, and stick those on and then get another little piece of score tape. Stick it on the other side, like that. Okay. All right. So now I can just fold this over where I want those to be, like that, and voila, except I accidentally stuck three, but that's okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have this so far for our magnets. All right, let's just move on. So here I'm going to be attaching string to keep this closed. So I don't need any magnets here. Um, I suppose you could put one on the inside, but I'm going to leave that alone because this will all stay closed. Okay. And then we're going to put a magnet right here to keep the waterfall closed. So I'm going to use these stronger magnets. So again, so we'll just use the same technique. So I'm going to stick down my score tape. I want my magnet to go about here. So I've attached both my magnets. I'm going to get another little piece of score tape, stick it on the top magnet, and then just fold that over like that. Okay. And then I think I'm not going to use any here, but I definitely need one on the waterfall. So I'm going to grab two of my magnets again. I want them about here. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that's all the magnets we're going to use for this album.